Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. Today we will continue the Beginner's Guide series, and the Night Storm Shield defense in Stonewood. This defense requires to place another amplifier, the last amplifier in Stonewood. Which will be Amplifier D. We have three options to pick from. You can pick any one of them. A lot of people think that this amplifier is the hardest one, but it's not. Let me first tell you why some people hate it. It's not because of the Storm Shield defenses. As you will see, this defense, and the next one, will be easy and simple like the others. It's because of the Endurance Mode. If you don't know what this Endurance is, it's a game mode similar to these Storm Shield defenses. But harder and more advanced. Instead of 3, 4, or 5 waves, it will be 30 waves. The waves last longer, have more husk and mist monsters. Every amplifier can get hit more than one time. A full endurance lasts for 2 hours and 26 minutes. Very fun to play, and give ton of good rewards. And you can play it with friends. One of the recently added rewards is Battle Royale XP. Yes, you can get Battle Royale XP while you are playing Save the World. And if you don't think it's worth it, let me tell you that I reached around level 500 or more in one season without playing a single Battle Royale mission. The nerf the XP amounts of course after that, but still, the XP is still very decent. You can get around 4 or 5 battle royale levels per day, which is insane. Other rewards too from endurance like gold, XP, and perk up. That's why a lot of us play this mode a lot. Especially because you can play it AFK for as many times you want. I will explain it later. Now let's continue. Amplifier D is special than the others in the endurance mode because of the war games modifiers. Like the tornado, the safety zones, and the hotspots. They spawn in specific locations and require a special way to build. Because if you built your tunnel according to the husk and their spawns only, you will have a lot of issues. You must consider the war games modifiers as well. But it's not hard if you know what to do. So, overall, your pick from these three amplifiers won't affect anything about storm shield defenses. What I will just mention is just about endurance only, no need to worry about anything, but listen to it first before placing any amplifier. Even for endurance, it's simple and easy, I will explain everything don't worry. So, what is that thing about endurance? Like we can just build it as the rest, right? That's true, but the thing is, a lot of people just follow a build tutorial for this amplifier. Since these war games modifiers have a lot of spawn locations and most of them are random, you need to test a lot to know the exact location for each one, each wave, how to control it, and how to build around it. So, you may pick one of the three optional locations we have, then you don't find the required build tutorial for it for endurance. So, you need to worry about all of that? Of course not, I already covered the full endurance build for these two locations and will work on this one after finishing these defenses. Plus I already covered two full builds for Stonewood Endurance. One for early game players, and one for end game players. So, what to do right now, which one to pick for endurance? For me, I recommend this one. From my experience, it's the simplest one to build. Maybe because I picked it the first, or it's the one I used to. One last thing before you place your amplifier. You can pick any one from the three options. I have endurance tutorial for these two and will finish the third as soon I can. And for that, I will place this one, to be able to test it like the rest. Then I will cover its build for endurance. So, if you will pick one of these two, you won't be able to follow the SSD tutorial for it like the other videos. But don't worry, it's simple like the rest. Or you can use the endurance build for it. I will add all the links and details in the description. Yes, it's too much for an SSD, but it will work well. You will notice in the endurance videos that I'm using a lot of different traps and perks with high level. Don't worry, just use any traps you have like we did in the previous defenses. And it will work well. And after that, you can build for endurance right away, since the build tutorials for these two are already there on the channel. Or you can place this one like me and follow the steps. But it will take me a bit to finish the endurance build. A lot of talking I know about one amplifier. But the thing is, once you place an amplifier, you won't be able to change, move, or remove it. It's permanent for life. Every one of these three options require to build three directions and will affect other two amplifiers. Or one at least. 
Now I will place my amplifier. Think and choose your amplifier as well. We need to build three directions for this amp. The east, the south, and the west. I was testing before recording, and it is almost impossible to block or build the south direction, because of the shield. This direction has three ways up. I will explain it in a minute, let's start first with the east direction. Very easy to trap. I will use the box's idea to trap this ramp. I will add a lot of traps for these last two defenses. Believe me, we will need them. Some extra roofs for the ceiling drop traps. As always, any damage traps you have. But focus on the wall darts, and the ceiling drop traps. These traps can deal a lot of damage to the husk in big areas. For two walls facing each other's, broadside trap is the best, like I explained in this video, but I still don't have it. Just add traps everywhere. Because these last two defenses are a bit longer. For the south direction, we will have to build it after we start the defense. The shield expands when we start the defense, so we will be able to build and trap it well. But the thing is, all the traps and structures we will add will disappear again once we finish the defense. You can use your weapons and fight for this direction, but it may be hard. I will build a small tunnel here. Nothing specific, just cover their path with a lot of traps. Go two or three tiles yup better, to add ceiling drop traps. I will destroy a small part from these block offs, we won't need most of them anyway. Because this amp I just placed will block some of the spawns for amplifier A. Plus this will be the path for the husk from the west direction spawns. Again, nothing specific, just cover the husk path with traps. This pillar will help the wall launcher to catch and push back more husk. Since they will have to walk closer to the trap because of this pillar. I will build and block these two paths after we start the defense. Cover the amplifier as always. Just in case anything managed to pass through.
This is extra but won't hurt. Few roofs around the amp with ceiling drop traps. I'm just trying to avoid any issues during the defense. Now for the west direction. They will spawn here and follow this path. Boxes around the ramps and ceiling drop traps covering everything. Make sure that your ceiling drop traps are two or three tiles high. More than three, they won't work. Cover this area as well. Connect the spawn cover with this one. Only these two parts remaining. Now I will add some extra drop traps for the home base. The husk level is higher now. Add some in front of the tunnel. Again, two or three tiles high. Some for this amplifier as well. And this one. Everything is ready now. I will upgrade the build, then we can start the defense. And we'll build the two parts one mentioned after the shield expands once we start the defense. I will add block offs everywhere. Literally, everywhere. It will cost like three or four hundred building materials, which is nothing compared with traps. 
They will spawn here. And we already trapped this path. So, let's block any other possible path for them. Nothing specific, just add edited floors, walls, cone, ramps, block everything. Yes, that's a lot, but why not? Just to be sure. Because it will be annoying if the husk tried to follow a different path. They may come from other direction after all of that. But it's random. So, for me, this direction may not get any waves. But it might doesn't in your base. Now for sure they will follow the path we built and trapped. Block this one as well. Now everything is closed. Fully closed. Don't worry, 70% of what I added is extra. But it's just brick, I can farm like 1000 in no time. I just added all of that to avoid any possible issues. Now I will add few traps here. Just few boxes, no need to waste traps. Because they will disappear anyway. Since we placed them after the defense started, not before.
A smasher. When you see one, go far away. This is the Neon Sniper, it allows you to see through everything. Even you can shoot and eliminate the husk. Maybe it's not that strong, but very helpful as you see. It's an easy wave, but I will eliminate some husk by myself to finish it faster.
You see how they can reach the end of the tunnel even after all the traps we added? That's why I will add more ceiling drop traps for the next defense. I know that we could just finish the first defense in Plankerton and will unlock the second evolution. So, we could increase our traps level for much higher damage. Which would made everything easier. But as I mentioned in the last video. I want to finish everything about Stonewood first, then go for Plankerton. But you can pause Stonewood after the seventh defense and go for Plankerton, no problem. Propanes. They will attack you once they spot you. And that's another reason to stay away from the tunnels, block-offs, and the spawns during the attack waves. I just stay near to show you how everything is going. As usual, some XP and tickets. The next defense is the same as this one, we already placed all the amplifiers. I will just add the needed block offs for amplifier D. Plus I will expand the spawn covers. And that's it. Don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me, helps me a lot. Like, subscribe if you are enjoying the content, helps the channel to reach more people. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, see you in the next one.